SpaceX is lucky to have Gwyn, and I am honored to work with her. And our company would not be where it is today without her outstanding contribution. That's how Musk praised Gwyn Shotwell, the president and COO, who is in charge of the day-to-day -day operations of SpaceX. Not only Musk, Gwyn is supported and trusted by all SpaceX engineers, so get ready to be impressed. While we were all working hard on engineering, she was opening up all the doors that were viewed by commercial companies as being some of the most difficult doors to open. That's how Tim Buza, a former SpaceX vice president and the company's fifth employee, praised Shotwell. Joining the company as one of its earliest members, Gwyn Shotwell demonstrated extraordinary capability by securing numerous significant contracts, even when SpaceX had yet to achieve any successful rocket launch. Despite the repeated failures of Falcon 1, which fueled skepticism among experts, Shotwell remained steadfast and managed to convince NASA to gamble on SpaceX's future. In 2006, before SpaceX had proved its mettle in the skies, NASA awarded them a $396 million contract under the COTS program, paving the way for the development of the Dragon spacecraft and the Falcon 9 rocket, the powerful successor to Falcon 1. Another testament to her prowess came in 2007, when and she successfully convinced satellite telecommunications company Iridium to sign a contract with SpaceX. This resulted in a $492 million contract, making SpaceX the primary launch provider for the Iridium Next campaign and bringing in SpaceX's largest commercial partner at the time. Even Iridium admitted that they were relying on an unproven company, SpaceX, to launch their critical satellites. Yet they were very confident in their decision. To make this new vision a reality, Iridium's leaders assembled a top-notch mission team, secured funding, and took a chance on an untested launch provider, SpaceX, by signing that company's largest commercial launch deal to date. We must remember that SpaceX wasn't always the success story it is today. The journey to this point has been long and fraught with historic firsts and spectacular failures. SpaceX faced a near-death experience when they ran out of funds to produce and test rockets until they successfully launched Falcon 1 in 2008. At that critical moment, Shotwell, with her persuasive abilities and keen business acumen, secured a $1.6 billion contract from NASA. This deal not only revived SpaceX, but also solidified its most important long-term partnership. It paved the way for SpaceX's future successes by providing crucial funding for the development of the Falcon rocket line. Since then, SpaceX and NASA have maintained a close relationship, with SpaceX becoming a key player in NASA's most prioritized projects. Notably, in 2021, SpaceX secured a substantial $2.9 billion contract to build moon landers for NASA's Artemis program because I know she is running that thing. She's running SpaceX, Nelson praised Shotwell in this way, clearly demonstrating her exceptional role in establishing and maintaining the relationship between NASA and SpaceX. In fact, the relationship between NASA and SpaceX hasn't always been smooth due to NASA's conservative approach clashing with SpaceX's innovative mindset. Shotwell has been pivotal in representing SpaceX in open discussions, exploring possibilities, and helping NASA adopt a more open-minded approach. Seriously, if every organization in this industry had someone like Shotwell, humanity's progress in space exploration would have reached new heights long ago. Shotwell's impact did not stop there. Beyond commercial partners in NASA, SpaceX has also achieved numerous agreements with the military. In 2005, just three years after the company was founded, SpaceX announced that they had been awarded an indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract, allowing the U.S. Air Force to purchase up to 100 million worth of launches. This opened the door to a period where the military invested billions of dollars in SpaceX services, including launching military satellites and developing the Starshield system. She also played a crucial role in developing and expanding the Starlink project. I believe that SpaceX was originally created without the intention of selling satellite services. This is a bright spot in leadership vision. By launching their own satellite constellation, they can achieve two critical goals, generating revenue on Earth to support their space exploration endeavors and gaining expertise in satellite network development. This expertise is vital for creating a communication infrastructure for a potential human colony on Mars. SpaceX is very early in its Starlink journey, but the signs are promising. They've been steadily launching satellites, notably achieving profitability in 2023, a significant milestone that demonstrates a strong, growing customer base.
This profitability ensures Starlink can cover its operational costs and generate positive cash flow, further fueling SpaceX's space exploration ambition. I see Gwyn sometimes like the conductor in the circus ring, spinning plates and ensuring all the diverse elements remain in balance. These are the words of praise that Martin Halliwell, former chief technology officer of satellite firm SES, had for Shotwell. Yes, Shotwell plays a crucial role at SpaceX, not only in commercial activities, but also due to her outstanding operational capability. She is the driving force behind the success of the Falcon rocket family. The Falcon 1 made history as the first privately developed liquid-fueled rocket to reach Earth's orbit. The Falcon 9 had its first successful launch in 2010 and quickly became the company's workhorse. Shotwell and SpaceX have turned the Falcon 9 launches into a daily routine, smooth and consistent. In the past, the Falcon Heavy project was on the brink of cancellation by Musk. However, she convinced him to continue its development and built a customer base for it. And now the Falcon Heavy has become one of the most powerful super heavy lift launch vehicles in use worldwide, with a booster comprising three Falcon 9 first stages joined together. This year, Falcon 9, along with Falcon Heavy, is scheduled to launch over 148 times, an incredibly impressive number. Moreover, under Shotwell's leadership, SpaceX has built the first privately funded spacecraft to reach orbit and the first privately funded spacecraft to dock with the International Space Station. It is clear that Gwyn Shotwell has earned the immense trust of Elon Musk as he has entrusted her with the responsibility of overseeing the Starship project, SpaceX's flagship project at the present time. The entire space industry is paying close attention to every development of the project. And surely Shotwell is doing an excellent job in her leadership role as the rocket hardware manufacturing process is running smoothly and accelerating. It's worth noting that manufacturing is one thing, but obtaining launch test licenses from the FAA is another matter entirely. In fact, the regulatory approval process for Starship test flights involves multiple steps and can be extremely time-consuming. However, the time interval between Starship test launches has been steadily decreasing. Shotwell has perfectly handled the compliance work to adhere to the complex launch licensing regulations, while also establishing a fairly good relationship with the FAA. So how did she come to SpaceX? Why did Musk choose her over so many others? Destiny played a role. Musk and Shotwell met very serendipitously when Shotwell went to lunch with Hans Koenigsmann, who had just started his new job at SpaceX. During that lunch, they met Elon Musk. Their conversation was brief, but long enough for both to express their aligned visions and aspirations. Elon Musk impressed Gwyn Shotwell with his vision for the aerospace industry, focusing on reducing launch costs by creating his own rocket engine and developing key components in-house. Despite sounding crazy, his ideas made sense to Shotwell, who had over 10 years of experience in the sluggish aerospace industry and saw his ambition and innovation. Gwyn proposed turning Musk's company profitable to serve long-term goals boldly stating he needed a business developer. This caught Musk's attention, recognizing her seriousness and experience. He saw in her someone who always knew how to achieve objectives and complement his vision. That evening, he called and asked her to apply for the vice president of business development position. Two weeks later, they began their journey together to conquer space. Undoubtedly, hiring Shotwell was one of Elon Musk's most crucial decisions. Their partnership in the coming years will surely lead to new breakthroughs in their quest to conquer space. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.